that's a deer, but look how he's acting. Oh, the deer got spooked. I've got to get this video to Bryce right away. What the f is that? The only problem is it isn't really that clear. So I want to get it into the hands of some experts who can really help us prove that this is Bigfoot. How's it going? Dying to see this video you got. Oh, oh what? Whoa. If that thing is as big as I think it is, there's got to be some tracks. There's got to be something. It seemed out this way, but there was so much fog. That's the area where Ronnie and I set out gifts, and we also set up the trail cams down oh, there. Oh, great. 50 miles to the southwest, Bryce has arranged to share Russell's footage with a living legend in the Bigfoot community, Bob Gimlin. Well, let me show you this video. Yes, please do. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. What do you make of that? That there was a Bigfoot in the area. So everything's still there. Nothing additional. Let's check these trail cams. Hold on a second. Am I losing it, or is that pointing in a different direction now? OK, so it's yeah. definitely it's definitely pointing like this. Well, it was pointing that way. And now, when you look at the next picture. That's odd. That is odd. Something physically shifted the perspective of the trail cam. To determine if the creature in the video was large enough to be Bigfoot, the team will record a size reference video. Maria and Ronnie will eyeball the creature in the video and then direct me to its exact location. For reference, what I saw was somewhere in this area where I'm standing right now. Look, we know you're in the general area, so we'll record it. Tonight, we were unable to estimate the exact size of this creature, but I'm going to go ahead and send this new video to Bryce. Hopefully, he'll be able to obtain some valuable information from it. Bryce has arrived at the office of forensic video expert, Ron Guzek. Hey, Ron. Hi, Bryce. How you doing, man? Bryce sent him footage of the anomaly, as well as the size reference video the team filmed. I'm really interested in having him look at the thermal imaging video that we captured out in the field. I want to be able to determine it's not a bear and uh, hopefully to confirm that it could be a Sasquatch. I sent some of this information to an artist. Keep in mind that this is a simulation. You could determine with quite a bit of certainty that this thing is walking. So the other video that we sent you was Russell, our team member, essentially standing in where we thought the creature was. These four posts, this gives a reference to what we're looking at. Here's one of the times we saw the anomaly. There's the four posts. I see them. And this is the two images over each other. Russ is no small guy. And I mean, just the comparison of the two, this creature just sort of towers over him. There's something mysterious out there. So far, I've taken this video footage to two different sources who both believe that it could be Bigfoot. Now I'm gonna talk with someone who's probably gonna be a little bit more skeptical. It's a real pleasure to be able to speak with you today. Thank you for taking the time to uh, talk with us. How do you do it? Interesting. It begs the question, oh, did we capture a bear? bear which would stand upright it wouldn't actually walk any distance upright it means that a giant ape is far from its uh, normal home the best thing to do is get out there go to the same place and look more and more and more because god define let's say gigantopithecus okay let's the living creature that would be unbelievable it would be clearly the, the discovery of the century the team believes tonight's full moon offers enough natural illumination to allow them to turn off most of their lights. The plan of action from here now is for us to spread out. Once in position, Maria and Ronnie will begin making their way towards the clearing. Any Bigfoot trying to avoid them will be driven out into the open. So, I'm trying to find a good position where I can do some calls. So I'm having to use this infrared camera, which has a light that will really only shine out two feet ahead of me. Ronnie to Russell. Ronnie to Maria. Stand by. I'm going to do three calls in about 30 seconds. Standing by. <laughs> Did 
Did you hear that? It sounded like a wind knock. I just heard two twigs snap. Thought I just saw a light. There it is. What is that? What's that light? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I also got a bright white light.